Hey there, Sienna community. Welcome back to our customer corner videos. In today's session, I'm going to be showing you how to combine values from a JSON object into a single array. So let's go ahead and get started. This JSON object that you are seeing here on the screen is what we are going to be using for our example today. As you can see, we have a JSON object and there are two properties here in this JSON object. We have a user one and a user two. Within these user properties right here, we also have an upcoming trips property, which is represented as an array. And the goal of this video is to graph these cities and the output is going to be one single array containing all of those cities. So I'm going to show you how we are going to do that in Sienna. So here we have our no code API builder. As you can see, our input is a JSON object and we have all of the data here that we are getting from the front end. And this is the data that we are going to be manipulating. So moving on to our function stack here, the first step is to create an array. We're creating a variable and labeling it results, and it is just going to be an empty array. This empty array is going to be where all of our cities are going to be added, and it is what we are returning in our response. The next step is to use the getValues function. Now, the getValues function allows us to get the property values of an object as an array, right? So we can actually see what that looks like. I added this stop and debug function here. So we can see what this values variable looks like, which is what this function here, the get values from our input JSON is returning. So let's go ahead and run this. And now we can see that we have an array that contains all of those values from the JSON object. Now that we have this in a form of an array, what we can do is we can actually loop through this array and access all of these cities in our upcoming trips. So we can do that for each of these users. What I did next is I added a for each loop function and I am looping through the array values. Um, every time that I'm looping through this array, we are accessing each of these objects as the item. And on each item, what I wanna do is I wanna update an existing variable. So right now I already created this result array up here. I wanna update this. And the way that I wanna update this is by grabbing what is already in there and merging it with this array here. And the way that I'm accessing this array here is by accessing the item using dot notation. So I'm doing item dot upcoming trips that will allow me to access this specific array and merge it with our results array. So since this is a for each loop, we're going to be doing this on each iteration. So on the first iteration, our empty array here is going to become an array that contains these three cities. And then on the second iteration, we are going to add these additional three cities to that array. And this will keep going until the end of our, our array here until there's no more items to go through. So now when I save this, I'm going to disable this stop and debug function here. What I should expect to see is just one singular array with our six cities in it. And as we can see, we get the successful result. So now we can use this array, um, send it back to the front end and use that data there. All right, I hope that this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any additional questions and we look forward to seeing you around. Talk soon, bye-bye.